Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today we're going to talk about patterns. All right, so we're going to talk about how patterns help us and how they hinder us. Okay, so help and hinder. So if you have watched any of my videos about intuition and energy, or if we've worked together in private session, you've heard me use the term patterns, patterning. And oftentimes I use it as a way to, to show you the transparency of what is naturally occurring in your life. The transparency of what is naturally occurring in your life, how things are unfolding. There's a pattern to all of this. If we could zoom up into the atmosphere and look down, we would see all the patterns, the patterns in nature. We would see all the patterns in the way that we've created things and to help us give us a framework, uh, a perspective and how to communicate and connect everything that we do is based on patterns. These are also connected to the rhythms and cycles of life like the seasons or the dawn of the day and the evening night. There are all these patterns that are in place to give us a form, a structure little bit of an outline to help us out as we're bumping around in these clunky human bodies. So let's talk about how patterns help us. Oftentimes I think people forget, especially in spiritual work, especially in, in psychic work, healing work, energy practices. We talk a lot, practitioners just like myself, we talk a lot about patterns and we use that to show the transparency of that which is negative or that which is hurting us or that which is not helpful to us. And I want to intentionally flip that and start by talking about how patterns help you. How do patterns help you? So take a second here. Other words for pattern might be routine. Routine like the way you, how you start your morning off, how, what breakfast you have, what type of coffee or tea, etc., that you have smoothie you make in the morning, or if you go work out, or if you do a meditation, or if you do prayer, routine in the morning that you have. Start at the beginning of the day and think about routine. Now, that routine is a pattern. It lends itself to the transparency then of how your life unfolds. If your pattern is a pattern that is healthy and helpful, then your life will be supported by that pattern. Healthy and helpful would be things like, obviously, choices about food, choices about beverages, choices about intake as far as inputs into your body sensory-wise, such as the shower, the hot or cold of the shower, the lotion that you put on, the scent of the body spray that you wear, or the cologne, or the, the <laughs> shampoo that you use, or the the input such as do you turn on the news or do you which might be considered we might think of that maybe in the hindering category so let's think about it this way the the communication inputs that you get like podcast or audio maybe you listen to music in the morning to start your day maybe you listen to a a book or uh, poetry, maybe you journal. Oh, that would be me. Maybe you do some cards. Cards, what's that, Bridget? Okay, so if you are listening to this on Above Life channel, you might not know I have another channel, a YouTube channel called Fairy Grasshopper. Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. And that channel, I do card readings. I use Oracle cards or psychic card decks, kind of like tarot, but not really. That's not what I usually use. Um, and I do readings there and that's a positive input. That's something that starts my day in a way that supports me, me, Bridget, so that I can support you, all of you, right? So that's what cards are. So those are positive inputs. Those are the, what's coming in, what I'm taking in. And so your morning routine is totally sensory. It's auditory. It's physical and physical body. It is heart-based on the interactions or communications you might have with your roommates 
other people, significant others in your life, including children, that kind of a thing, right? And all of those things affect you in the way that your life is unfolding. Now, when you are conscious of your patterns, then you have more power through your choices to co-create, work with life, work with those cool tools, techniques, simple choices to put you in a good mood, put you in a rhythm that creates a pattern that supports your energy to be uplifted, to move forward. The momentum is lovely and the motivation is movement based and just feels really good and rhythmic. And it might not be a, who pick me up, let's go, come on. It might not be that. You might not be the, let's go to the cycling class, you know, at 6 a.m. You might be the type that's like, hey, my pattern in the morning, Bridget, I'm telling you, my pattern in the morning is to be mellow and ease into the day. I hear you, I'm raising my hand right now. Me too. However, I think my husband would say, I wake up talking because I do sometimes especially in the summer months when the sun is out a lot i love the solar energy so it gives me an extra charge of battery juice overnight when i wake up and i see that sunrise ooh, 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 that really positive input for me is seeing the sun rise in the morning and looking at the clouds in the sky that that is sweet sweet connection for me and that inspires me It gets me feeling real good. So I get it when you need to ease into the morning and do simple things. And that's easy when you're not getting up late, trying to drop the kids off at school, packing lunches, packing your own lunch because you're trying to be healthy, all this stuff. There's a lot of thought that goes into the morning to the routines or patterns that you have in the morning. I get that. But the morning or the start of the day for you, whatever that might be, because it actually might be evening or later in the day for you, depending on your work and such and your, your style. And the, the energy that goes into recognizing through your awareness how impactful patterns are when you start your day, that's beginning. You're beginning, beginning, beginning. Now, you might be falling back into old patterns, autopilot stuff, which autopilot and falling into patterns, back into patterns, like old patterns, etc. as long as the habits of the patterns and the behaviors connected to the patterns are healthy and helpful to you. And if they're not, and you still fall back into a pattern, something that you maybe got out of sync with and out of pattern with, maybe maybe you used to like to walk in the morning, get into like a mile walk before you go to work or something, or start your day, then, and you've gotten out of habit of that, and so you feel kind of bad, and there's a little bit of guilt. So what you do then is you don't want to introduce negativity and bully yourself, be mean to yourself, belittle yourself through your brain and push yourself into changing the pattern. What you want to do is inspire yourself. So how you do that is you to support a healthy pattern when you recognize you're not in one or you want something to be different with your patterns, new beginnings, fresh starts every day. What you do is you soften your energy and you imbue in compassion in your heart be compassionate for yourself. Folks, this is what self-love is all about. In these moments when you have patterns and you've done good for a while or you don't haven't done good forever and you want to make a change or create a change or introduce a change, new day beginnings. Constant opportunity to practice grace with yourself and forgiveness for what you haven't done. Bygones, bygones, bygones. Let the past be the past and today is the present. And you have another chance tomorrow? And then it's another fresh start. So no excuses about that. No beating yourself up. Don't get stuck in self-bullying. Use self-love and self-care by giving yourself compassion from the heart space, from your empathic energy. Use that to support your pattern shifts gently, gently, gently. Okay. Then now that we've talked about like the helpfulness of patterns and how patterns can support you as far as creating a rhythm to your life and allowing and recognizing that life is unfolding, how you have chosen it. It doesn't feel like it. Sometimes you feel like autopilot. Autopilot doesn't mean you don't have choice. You have choice. Is it an inspired choice? That's a question for you to consider. And you have the answer to that. You have the, and guess what? Guess what, my friends? 
the answer to that for you could be different every day. Your routine might be different on different days. There's nothing wrong with different. There's nothing wrong with that. And so when we look at the patterns of things, what is commonly known or focused is on the shadow of things like, oh, that's a pattern, which means old belief system, which means this is a problem, which means this is a habit, a bad habit, air quotes, bad habit that I, I, I just have. Like, this is just a problem. I have issues, all, blah, 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 all that, right? That if you have a pattern of behavior that you don't like, of course, you're going to look at patterns and the concept of patterns as something that's negative or challenging for you, but it does not have to be that way. So I invite you on the shadow side of pattern to use it. Use the transparency of the pattern to shine lights through the cracks of the negative personification that you have in your human form and your human life of the patterns. You can do that. You can do this. I'm not suggesting that by shining a light onto the pattern that you are required to take action. No. Your first step is always, always awareness. Always awareness. Never action as a first step. Action is a response. If that's the first place you go, it's a response, a response, a response. And it's likely being coming from, it's likely coming from the survivalist mind that you have. You don't need that. That's not helpful to you. You stand in your power and recognize that you have little choices every single day. And you can use the shadow or the negative patterns or the patterns that you feel are not that healthy for you. And you can recognize and acknowledge through your awareness that you would like a change. Or you can simply hold your own space be compassionate for yourself and say, you can say, when you recognize and you have awareness of this, you can say, not now. Not now. I am not going to change this pattern now. That is not the choice I'm going to make today. You might wake up tomorrow and it might be the day to make a new choice, a different choice. And guess what? Every day is the pa a pattern for a new beginning to occur. You can be consi you can be you can rely on the consistency of the day and the day and the day. New days all the time, new beginnings all the time. That is consistent. You can rely on that. There is no uncertainty in days. They come again. They come again and you focus on the positive intention of that and that alone is inspiring. Tomorrow's a new day. And why wait? Allow yourself to love inside the shadow, to soften the edginess of this dark, scary place, cave-like that the shadow, it gets such a bad reputation for that. It, it's not that. It does not have to be that. We do not need to stereotype the shadow. We do not need to judge it. That's like the last thing you need to be doing. You don't want to start a new pattern of that, do you? I didn't think so. So notice the healthy patterns. And when you notice unhealthy patterns or things that don't make you feel emotionally good, it might not be that the world decides that this is a bad pattern, so therefore this is something that I should change. It might be that you think, you know, ugh, I know that I feel better when I meditate. So even if it's 10 minutes, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to attempt to, to honor a pattern of maybe three times a week doing a meditation. And if, it, if I do it more, yay, that's great. And if I don't, so what? I'm attempting to start a pattern, a repetitive, consistent pattern. Because you just happen to notice that that's good for you. If that works for you, for example, just simple, simple, very simple. So we've talked about patterns today and i talk about this a lot when i work with energy and i talk about things like energy grids and energy patterning and how it affects you as a person and how it affects the way you feel and your mood and especially empathic energy which empath is heart-based which we all are we get a lot of information from our feelings and it's about time that we work with that to the best of our ability to support us not to 
look to weed the garden of what's bad, we get to embrace all of ourselves, all parts of us, including these patterns that maybe are starting to become out of place or too small or old school for you, and you don't like that. If you don't like it, if it doesn't feel good, you can change it. Gentle, subtle changes, and guess what? It doesn't have to be right now, today. You can say, when you are aware of the pattern, you can say, not now, not now. And you just set it aside, because don't worry, I assure you, don't worry, don't worry now, don't you worry now. That pattern will come up again, especially if it needs a change in. If it needs to change, it's gonna ask over and over and over again, until there's something else that helps to break the cycle of the old thought pattern that will set the heart free to use that positive empathic momentum to change it, to open you up in healthy, helpful, and positive ways. Lots of hope in this space regarding patterns, regarding shadow. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of who you are you powerful, energetic spirit being. I see you. I see you from all the way over here. You shine beautiful in that heart space. Use the patterns. Use the info. Embrace your awareness and acknowledge the power of your choices. Doesn't mean you have to take action. It means acknowledge through awareness the power that you have to choose every single day. All right. Ooh, I feel like I just coached y'all. How do you feel about that? See, intuitive coaching, pretty good. That's what I do in my work in private session and in my groups too. So keep eyes out for that, for the cool services and things that I offer and share. So I'm Bridget. Thanks so much for listening. I hope I've inspired your spirit today and filled you with hope. The purpose of the work here on Above Life Channel is to encourage you to live your life. This is your unique individual lifetime. It's yours, craft it. Grab it with both hands and embrace it, embody it. It is your life after all, so live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.